The success of this film was almost derailed by a scandal that erupted during the filming of this movie in Gila Bend, Arizona, when a man named David A. Whiting, who was said to be a personal assistant of Sarah Miles, who played Catherine Crocker, was found dead in his motel room one evening from what was believed to be a drug overdose. However, a coroner's inquest led to findings of bruises on Whiting's body and evidence of a fight between Whitey and Sarah Miles in the hours before his death, which led to rumors that Sarah, who was married at the time to the great screenwriter Robert Bolt, was having an affair with Whiting, something she later admitted was indeed true. And because Sarah had taken refuge in Burt Reynolds' motel room after that fight with Whiting, rumors also started about an affair between Sarah and Burt, which proved to be untrue. In the end, a coroner's inquest ruled Whiting's death a suicide with no foul play involved. Nevertheless, it pretty much damaged Sarah Miles' reputation and her career for several years after. Up next, a battle goes on for a young girl's soul in a film from 1979 with Glenn Ford, Shelley Winters, Mel Ferrer, and two famous directors in acting roles, John Huston and Sam Beckenbaugh. <laughs> Tonight on TCM Underground, John Houston fights evil on Earth in The Visitor. Then Houston and Shelley Winters are tormented by tentacles, and cleanliness is next to godliness when it comes to civil defense in the house in the middle. Turner Classic Movies presents Mom in the Movies, an exclusive new TCM book by Time Magazine.